Do that one dance, baby. That, that one dance. Hello, my lovelies. Welcome back. I'm going to wish you all a happy Valentine's Day, even though when you're watching this, it won't be Valentine's Day. But either way, whether you had a full Valentine's Day, a Galentine's Day, a purely you day, I hope you had a nice day nonetheless. So yeah, happy Valentine's. Today's video is a bit of a spur of the moment one. I just randomly decided that I was in the mood to film and I was like, what could I film? So I thought I'd do a little a little favourites video because why not, you know? I was going to put this cup of tea down because it's really hot. So this is the first favourites video I've done and it's kind of a little different to the, the previous videos I've, I've put up. I've mainly done sort of vloggy videos but I thought I'd mix it up a bit, you know? So yeah, I'm going to do my February favourites. And looking at the bits around me, I'm going to be honest, it's going to be a bit of a random favourite because, I mean, two weeks out of this month already, I spent with Covid. So it's not been the most eventful February, but at the same time, I've still got my favourites and I thought, why not share them with you? So pause this video right now. Go and get yourself a cuppa. Don't burn your mouth though, will ya? Get yourself comfortable. And let's crack on, shall we? So, to start off with, if I'm honest, I don't really know where to start. So let's first start with my hair. I don't know how well you can see this because of the tapestry behind me, but if I do this, I can explain. I was going to take this out before filming, but I thought actually I'd include it into my favourites because like I already previously said, the past two weeks of this month I have spent with Covid. And one thing I have loved is TikTok. I am fully obsessed, I'm not going to lie. I Every day I pretty much get into a TikTok hole, so I will literally sit for hours and hours just scrolling through TikTok and I get in such a black hole with it that I'm there for so long. But recently, I don't know though, I'm sure other people have seen this, but it's become a trend to do this little cat ear hairstyle and I really wanted to try it. So I did and I was really amazed by it, <laughs> like that the fact it actually worked. So I thought, you know what, I'll keep this in for this video just to just to, oh, why didn't I do that in the first place? He Just to represent TikTok, you know? So that's my first favorite, fav favorite? That's my first favorite of February is TikTok. <laughs> the danger that is TikTok. If you wanna go follow me over there, please do. I'll, I'll leave the link down below. Cause I don't, I'm, I don't know how people get famous on there. I just can't do it. But yeah, number one favorite, TikTok. I'm sure so many people are the same and are obsessed like I am, but when you see things on TikTok, you just can't help but try them, can you? So if anybody else wants to try it, try out some cute little hair cat ears. So moving on, I think I'm going to stick with my, um, my theme of what I enjoyed whilst being riddled with COVID. And I don't know if this is a bit of a random one, but it's my blanket. <laughs> I, I've literally spent every day with this guy on the sofa and you will notice it is a bit of a Halloween blanket. Like it's got ghosts and bats and spiders and, and it's got little tassels on the end. But I can't bear to put this blanket away and to be honest, it just matches my aesthetic, you know? I have a spoopy aesthetic. Um, so I just wanted to throw this into my favourites. This was actually from HomeSense, one of my all-time favourite shops. I bloody love that shop and I miss it dearly right now with it being closed. Um, and I got this last year. I think it's like £20, which is a bargain. It's actually it's so soft. It's nice and thick. It's really snuggly. So this is one of my main favourites this month just because it's, it kept me company while I was ill and poorly on the sofa. So 
I just, I just had to include it, didn't I? So I'm including a blanket, a nice spooky blanket, which also is kind of reversible that you can get white with the gray or gray with the white. It's just, it's just a great blanket and home sense just never fails, does it? So, spooky blanket. Continuing with that, is, I mean, you've seen this in, in other videos. I have shown this off, but again, it's my hoodie. I bloody love this thing. It's ginormous, it's huge, but it's just, it's so soft. It's so cozy. I should probably wash it, I'm not gonna lie to you. But I just, oh, everybody needs an hoodie in their life. Like Ben bought this for me for our anniversary, I think it was. And it's honestly one of the best presents I've ever been bought out of everything he's bought me over the years. This is honestly my best friend. It's so cozy. It's just, I just love it. And I'm just, I suppose like, again, like most people, we're just all enjoying comfies at the moment, right? And this is just the ultimate comfy. So this guy had to come in the video. It's my hoodie and I bloody love it. This with the blanket, it's just the world's best combo, you know, cup of tea in hand. You just can't go wrong. So. Go and get yourself a nudie because you won't regret it. It's oh, it's like an investment, guys. It's great. Just oh, I love my nudie. I love it. Oh, I love it. Another favourite this month is finding my really love for my Switch. I sort of I'd, I'd, I've been ignoring it for a little while because I was only really playing Animal Crossing. But once you've done your island. You kind of lose interest, well I did, because I was sort of like, I have nothing left to do, I'd found all my fossils, so I had no fossils left to dig up. My island was pretty much how I wanted it, and I was just a bit like, I don't want to do it now. So I, I gave up on it for a while, which I am sad about because I didn't play it during the Halloween season or Christmas season, so I did miss out a bit. But, while I was ill, again, this illness sort of brought out some great things, I really found my love for my Switch. And since replaying it, I've been playing another game, which I used to play on, I think the Xbox, which I loved then, and I really found my love for now, and it's Beautiful Katamari, which is such a cute little colorful, beautifully aesthetic game, which I highly recommend you play. Um, so I've been playing a lot of that, and also playing a lot of Lego Harry Potter, because you just can't go wrong with the Lego game, can you? And I love me a bit of Harry Potter. So yeah, this month I have refound my love for my Switch and I'm very happy about it because it's just great company, isn't it really? It sounds like it is. Or some days if me and Ben are both off, we have just little Switch sessions. He'll play his, I'll play mine and you know, we have a great time. So yeah, this guy has made a reappearance in this, in, in this month, in this month, this month. You know what I mean? The Switch, he's back and I'm, I'm highly happy about it, so. Now, carrying on with sort of the creative side of things, something else I have really found my love for this month. I really found my love for drawing. I used to draw all the time and I find drawing is just one of those things that it kind of helps me mentally, like my mental health. Like I find it just, it just, occupies my mind I suppose and takes a mind away and it just I just find it really quite relaxing so I've done a few I'll, I'll share a few of you I did a little Mickey Steamboat Willie holding a heart for, for Valentine's Day because you know fit him I did this little drawing which I kind of love and I kind of want to make a print or something it's probably backwards but it says it's okay not to be okay and it's in a little barbed wire heart that just I'm sort of living by that at the moment. And I did this little random guy, it just says some like it goth because, <laughs> because why not? And now something I'm really enjoying drawing at the moment is a little spoopy ghost. And this one, I've linked two of my favorite things together. I've got my spoopy and Mean Girls holding the burn books. It says, boo, you whore. Unless you've seen the film, that probably won't, that won't make sense. But, and my most recent one, I am really missing Disney at the moment. I miss being in Walt Disney World. I just want to be there. So, I did this, a little spoopy ghost holding a Mickey balloon, he's got his little Mickey hat on and he's holding a Mickey ice cream, 
just I'm just living my Disney life through drawing at the moment. But I'm really loving this, and I'm gonna get some pens and things soon so I can properly like, outline and things. And I don't know. I'm just I'm just I'm just loving getting back into my drawing. It's just it's just it's just great for your mental health. Like I've, I've really found my love, and I'm very happy about it. I include tea. Tea just, it's just an everyday favourite rather than a monthly favourite, you know? What should we do next? How about an item of clothing? So, this jumper I have been living in, and I'm, I think you've seen it in other videos, but it's just my stripy, oversized jumper. Now, I just love this guy because. One, I just love the fit. I am very much an oversized person. O oversized person? Oversized? I like wearing oversized clothes. Because <laughs> it just, I don't know. I just enjoy it. I'm, I'm that comfy person, you know. And I got this for Christmas off me nan. I mean, I chose it, but we got it off her. And it was just from Boohoo. This little Boohoo number. Which, I just love Boohoo sometimes, you know. It's just... It's just comfy, it's got nice big sleeves, it's oversized just all over, nice comfy neckline, just, I've just been loving this jumper recently, like, and like I say, I, I, I just live in it most days, to be fair. People will probably look at me and think, does she not own any other clothes, but I just love it, it's just so comfortable, and it's been so cold recently, and this is like the nice, a nice thickness, so it's like, you don't get too hot, but it's also, it keeps you warm, so. Yeah, I thought I'd throw this little guy in there, just a little, I don't know if it's still in stock, I'll have a look, and if it is, I'll pop the link down below in case you want to have a look at it yourself, but, yeah, I love this jumper. It's a great, it's a great jumper, guys, great jumper. Keeping with the clothing theme, I've got a little, uh, a little pair of boots to throw in, so I actually wore these today for the first time, and these little boots, Ben actually bought me for Christmas. And you can see love I've scuffed them already. But they are just, they're a pair of new look boots. And they're this um, sort of velvety material, you know, that sort of soft velour? Is that the right word, velour? Um, and they've got little zips on the inside. But oh my gosh, they're so comfortable. Like normally when I get a pair of boots, you know, I'd be quite weary to wear them because you think, oh God, these are gonna rub, these aren't gonna be comfortable. And today I thought, Joe, we're going food shopping. So it's not a massive journey. It's not a long thing to be walking around. I'll try them out today. So comfortable. They're honestly so comfortable. They actually are the new look love comfort range. So they are made to be comfortable. And let me tell you, I can vouch for it. They are comfy. So these are just these, just, they're just such a lovely shape. They're a lovely size heel, because I'm tall, so I don't like to wear big chunk. Like, I love chunky shoes, chunky boots, things, but can't have anything too big, so I'm tall as it is. So these are just perfect, and just comfort, comfort, comfort. So I love these, I highly recommend. If you find any boots in the new look comfort range, go for it. It, it's, it, it, it does what it says on the tin, comfort, it's great. I'm gonna move on to a few beauty favourites, I guess, this month. Again, I haven't worn, so I've got a really itchy leg. I haven't really worn huge amounts of makeup because I, I just haven't had the effort, especially being poorly. What's the point? I'm just gonna do a dress up for the TV. No point. So I've only got like a couple of favourites. One is a lipstick, although I'm currently wearing two lipsticks, but this lipstick is Coven, I don't know if you can see that because of the ring light. It's called Coven Cosmetics and this is sold on Killstar, the website. And oh my God, it's just, it's just such a nice lipstick. It's obviously, as you can tell, it's a liquid matte lipstick. The packaging is just beautiful. I don't think you can really tell on here, but it's like, it's matte black and it fades off down to the clear. It's just, it's just so pretty. And the actual applicator as well is a really lovely shape and size. Again, um, what you can tell, it's got a nice curve to it and it just goes on so nice. And the other thing, it smells really nice. Like, I don't know if that was purposely done, but 
it smells really lovely but it just lasts as well it stays on really well and i just bloody love it like i bought a black lipstick a few months back or last month or something and it's it takes like quite a few layers to get it on otherwise you can see where it smears whereas this one coat and you're good to go but i love it like i've been drinking and stuff whilst having this on look hasn't budged I bloody love it guys like this i highly recommend checking this out i would like to get some more um by this brand so i'll keep you invested if i do get any more and like how the colors and things are but so far the pigments seem great so coven cosmetics i highly recommend from killstar i'll drop the link down below just so if you want to have a little look you can but you know just loving the black at the moment as you can tell and my other like go to at the moment i've been using this oh, Sorry if you can hear that. I can't tell why my legs are so itchy. So this is a product that I have been using for months and months and months, years even, and it just covers all my sins. It's the um, Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Concealer. Now this it just it just hides all my sins. Like I have terrible natural dark circles under my eyes. Doesn't matter what I do, I can't get rid of them. I think it's like um gene generic no it's not word. genetic it's genetic um and i just find this works really well for covering my dark circles it's just i love the applicator it's got such a big sponge like it's just lovely to put on and it just does the job you know and it's cheap and cheerful and you can't be cheap and cheerful because i'm not one for spending loads of money on makeup i just i can't afford to so if i can get something that works just as well for less money i'm gonna do it and this is just a trusty favourite that, I like I say, I've been using for months on end, years even, and I love it. So something I definitely highly recommend if you're looking for a new concealer to try. Revolution Conceal and Hydrate. I love this guy. I'm kind of sticking on the beauty side of things. Um, for Christmas, get any perfumes or anything and i normally when it gets near that time of christmas you know you think oh i won't buy any perfumes because in case someone buys me some i know my mum normally buys me perfume but as i've previously said haven't seen my mum yet so i still haven't had christmas presents from her and i was like oh really, I, i'm really running low on perfume so ben as lovely as he is treated me to a little perfume just at, at, at surprise i didn't know he was going to do it and he bought me vivian westwood cheeky alice and I forgot how much I love the Vivian Westwood perfumes. Like in the past I've had, I think it's Naughty Alice. The, uh, it's like in a blue box. Um, and I think one of the other ones. But this smells so nice. And I always love the bottles. The bottle's always so cute. It's got this little sort of, um, I don't know. It's, I think you can use this as a bracelet afterwards. Because it's got a little popper. And it's just like a little um, leathery type hearts with the logo on and it honestly it's quite a it's quite a sweet scent and i i do quite like sweet scents when it comes to perfumes and it's just it's just so lovely like uh whenever i wear it it's like oh you smell nice i'm like yeah so what you bought me it's like oh like it's just again i think these are actually quite cheap and cheerful as well these perfumes so it's quite a good like everyday perfume but um yeah i forgot how much i enjoy these perfumes they've sort of refound my joy for these perfumes because like, i now can keep getting these as like my everyday go-to so yeah i've been really enjoying wearing this this month it's such a lovely scent and another sort of i guess this class is like a beauty favorite is now this is not sponsored i would love to be don't get me wrong would happily happily be sponsored by this company but i'm not i pay for this out of my own pocket every month but it is the glossy box February box this month. How freaking cute is that box this month? Like, I love these subscription boxes. Like, especially because I'm one of those people where I do just stick to my old favourites and I go back to using the same product. So using this introduced me to so many new products. So not only do I love the box, because this was a Valentine's, Valentine's special, obviously. The products it came with this month, I haven't used any yet because I was like, I really want to show this in a video. So why not do it now? So it always comes with a booklet, which tells you your products inside. Um, a little ribbon that's always done up. It's got really cute little tissue paper this month. 
and then inside are your products. So you always get around, I believe it's around five products, ranging at different prices. You'll either get a full size product or a tester. Normally, I think it's like all the products in the box will come to over 50 pound plus. Um, whereas this month, I believe, these are, this was all worth around £85, I want to say, if not more. So in this month's box, we got, um, this is like a little massage, I don't know what you call this. It's like this little, so I think you sort of massage and contour your face with it, which is really lovely. Um, and that alone is £10. Um, got a Steve Laurent, um a lip mask, which I'm quite excited to use. Um, and this would normally be around five pounds. I'm really excited to use that because it is that time of the year where my lips do get very dry. This, which smells so lovely. So this is the Bubble Tea Peach Bellini. It's um, a hand moisturizer. And it's in this, the, like in the scent Peach Bellini. And oh my God, like it's not even open, but I can smell it. And it, it really reminds me of something. I can't think what, but it smells so good. And like, look at the size of this. It's a big old chunky hand uh, thing. And this is normally about five pounds as well. Then this I'm actually really excited for because this is in the same brand as um, a mo moisturizer I've uh, mentioned in a previous video by the brand Avant. And this is, I don't know how well you can see that. This is a, um, it's an actual, it says rose sugar lip scrub. So it's, you can see it's got little beads and things in it. Um, and this is normally worth, okay, you're ready for this. This little guy is normally worth 58 pounds for this lip scrub. So this is a full size product. Oh, that smells really good as well though. But yeah, this is normally worth 58 pounds. So this is what I mean. In the glossy boxes, you can get, a lot of money like a lot of money worth products that makes no sense um and anyway the last product is nude sticks i think that's what, yeah nude sticks again it's the full size product which is a gel color lip and cheek balm so it's like this how beautiful is that i should have worn that today it's like the perfect valentine's color but i haven't i haven't used any of these products yet because like i said i really wanted to show them in the video and this was a perfect time but this alone as well is 20 pounds like i'm i sound like i'm trying to sell this to you but honestly after using glossy box for a few good few months now i started doing this last year i love it i think it's like 11 pound 11 12 pound a month and you get such lovely products each month and it's always so exciting because you know what you're going to get so if 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 this is something you'd be interested in I highly recommend like i say this isn't an ad this is purely out my own pocket but i love glossy box like it's just, I just love it. It's introduced so many new products. So it's nice to look at things and find out about products you wouldn't necessarily know about or look for. So yeah, loving Glossy Box at the moment. And I really love this month's box, really good. I am really loving small businesses at the moment. Like, especially in this time, with everything that's going on, supporting small businesses is more important than ever. And I am a big jewellery lover. I love jewellery. So I have really been loving my small business jewellery at the moment. So I've got a few here to show you just, just to recommend. So I've been, I've really got back into wearing earrings lately. Like, cause obviously I have stretched ears. So it is hard sometimes to find jewellery that you can wear with it other than your plugs and tunnels. And I've really been missing, like there's so much pretty jewellery out there that I've been quite jealous about it. But I've found so many new um, businesses that actually make jewellery that accommodates to stretch ears now. And there's a few different and I'll link them all down below. Um, so some of my most recent pairs, which I absolutely love. I have these ones here, which are like little barbed wire knots which are little clip hoops and these are really clever so they just open like this so you can literally just clip it through your tunnel or if you want to wear it just with like just your plain holes um and these are from a brand called violet delights i think i'm saying that right i'll double check and i will leave the link below 
um, and I've been loving these and also I'm wearing some right now these are also from the same company and they're little hoops that have little acorns hanging from them how cute is that and these ones are um, like they're a really thin hoop that you can just pull it just pulls apart here so again really sweet really lovely I absolutely love them like they're just nice and subtle or I've got my bigger ones here and these are both from the same brand um i've also got these ones here now these are from another brand these are from a brand called um bones cult who again one of my absolute favorites at the moment and these are spider web hoops and these are again they just hook and I love, I wear these so much. You might have seen me wearing these in previous videos, but I absolutely love them. Like They're just so comfortable. They're lightweight, so they don't pull on you too much. And all these brands are so cheap as well. Like most of these earrings, I think I've paid no more than 15 pounds for, most of 12 pounds, I think. The ones I'm wearing right now are in the sale for like four or five pounds, 50. It's so ridiculous. And I absolutely love them. They look expensive and they're not. So I will link all these brands down below, like I say. Um, but I absolutely love them. I'm just loving having the option to sort of play around with jewellery again by wearing hoops and things. Um, and this necklace here, this is by a brand called Vicious Punks. And um, Ben actually got me this for Christmas. But I bloody love it. It's like a really chunky chain with a lock here. This actually comes with a key so you can unlock this. And it just does up with a... I don't know if you can see that just you know like a carabiner type clip and i just love it like i'm so into like this is this is me all over i just love chunky jewelry i love silver jewelry i just i'm just loving my jewelry at the moment guys and another ring now this is more on the pricey side again i i, I don't know how much this was but i think when i've looked on this site before again the neck is next and things are normally between like 12 15 pound something around there but I love them. I follow them all on Instagram. Um, and I will, like I say, I will put their links down below. And then this, this was like my holy grail of jewelry that I've been wanting. And I got this for Christmas. And I'm so happy about it. I bloody love it. It's the Great Frog London. Oh, I just love this ring so much. I've been wanting this for so long. Like I can't even tell you. If you don't know this brand, I highly recommend recommend checking them out they're called the great frog london um i believe they've, they've got all different stores and things all over i think over the world maybe um but i love this brand so much their jewelry is incredible it's all handcrafted solid silver like just look at that how freaking cool is that so i finally have my holy grail ring and they even do this in a necklace and just their jewelry is so beautiful like i highly recommend checking it out like I'm just going to keep that on now because I love it so much. Like, just, I love jewellery, guys, okay? I love jewellery. Love it, love it, love it. Also, I'm wearing another bracelet that I completely forgot about. It's covered in fluff. This is from a really small brand called Pink Bones. And she does the most beautiful dainty jewellery. Like, you'll probably notice a theme here that... I love my barbed wire. So this is a really cute little barbed wire gold bracelet. She does necklaces, earrings. Her jewelry is stunning and I need more of it. And again, super affordable. So I will link her down below as well. I highly recommend. This has kind of turned into a little small shop shout out and I bloody love it because go and support small shoppers. Shop small. And moving on, we're actually near the end of my favorites, I think. I think I've only got two more things to show you. And these are probably some of the more random things of this month. So the first thing, you can't have a favorite all about snacks, can you really? And although we're only in February, the Easter snacks are already coming out. And oh my gosh, these, I love these every year they come out. Like Milky Bar is just my dream chocolate. And the Milky Bar mini eggs, I just, I need to stock up because I'm always sad when things like this go. Um, this is already my second bag because Ben likes to bring home snacks and I happily devour them. So this is my second bag. And oh, if you haven't had these, you've got to get them. They're just so good. And on top of that, I am a massive chocolate orange lover. Oh, little sneaky peek. I love chocolate orange. Like orange and chocolate is just, it's just a dream combo. And 
I love a Malteser bunny, but they've only gone and bloody brought out chocolate orange Malteser bunnies. They are incredible. Like, oh, they are so, so nice. Like, I love them. And as well as these, I don't have any to show you, but they would have been in my favourites if I hadn't already eaten them. But they also brought out little bags of white Malteser bunnies. White, you heard me right, white Malteser bunnies. So if you are a chocolate girl or guy or just general person, if you just love chocolate or you love chocolate orange, white chocolate, if you don't, who are you? But if you do, get yourself to Tesco's, guys, because it's the main place we find these things and I could not recommend more. Once this video is ended, I probably will be having a little munch up, I'm not gonna lie to you. And the last thing of my favorites, now, I only got this today, but I could have actually cried. I'm so happy, like, just looking at it now, it actually makes me want to cry because it's so freaking cute. Are you ready for this? Prepare yourselves. I have a Grogu. I have my very own baby Yoda. I'm so happy. So this was my Valentine's present. Now, me and Ben were a bit late to the game of watching The Mandalorian, but it's because we wanted to drag it out. Like, we are those people, when we know new series and things are going to be coming out of it, we'd rather wait and then sort of watch it all in one go rather than... Because you know when they're coming out and you have to wait each week for an episode, we're just, we're just not about that life. So we watched it. And I fell in love within the first episode. I bloody love it. And I'm sure, like everyone, I fell in love with Baby Yoda. I know that's not his real name, it's Grogu, but I fell in love with him. And every time I watched an episode, I kept looking at him and I was like, I want a Baby Yoda. I need a Grogu in my life. Like, I need to have one. I need to choose to laugh at me. But then today, I opened this guy. And he's um, Grogu, he's from Build-A-Bear, for one, which is incredible. Oh, his tag's tucked in, he's from Build-A-Bear. Two, this heart he's holding is detachable. You can take it off of his hand so he doesn't have to hold it. But this has been, like, you can choose, because it's build you can choose accessories. So obviously being Valentine's, Ben bought me a heart with him. So he holds a heart. And even better, he smells like strawberries. That's right. You can choose scents for your bears from build bear Who knew that was a thing? I didn't, but I bloody love it. My Grogu smells like strawberries. Like, I am honestly so in love. He is the softest, squishiest, cutest little guy. And I just love him so much. Like, I'm obsessed. I finally own my very own Grogu. Wolfie. I love him. I'm so happy with him. So he had to come into my favourites because how could he not? Look at him. I just love him, guys. I'm very happy right now happy very very happy <laughs> so i think that kind of concludes my february favorites i pre-warned you it's going to be a random one and it is pretty random right but like i say i know most people are in lockdown so things aren't exactly eventful at the moment as it is but i'm just finding happiness in little things right now you know just you gotta keep positive in these times. Like, I know it's hard to say, and I'm probably one of the worst people to say it because, you know, living that anxiety life. But you have just got to try and be positive and just take the good out of the little things, you know? Find what makes you happy. Like, right now, the little things really do make me happy, like I say. Things like just drawing, snacks, cozy wear. You just can't beat it, you know? this has been quite a different video for me to film but i've quite enjoyed it so do let me know if you've enjoyed this style of video and if you'd like me to do anything else like this just these sort of sit down sit down videos rather than just vlogging and like i said i will try and um link as much of what i've spoke about in this video down below if i can find it um so yeah, if you if you want to find anything that's in this video, check down below. All the links should be there. Um, and yeah, just I really hope you enjoyed this, guys, because I really enjoyed filming it for you. It's nice to do something a little bit different. And where it's spare at the moment, 
just run with it you know and it's worked out well i've enjoyed it so yeah if you did enjoy this video please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and if you've got right through to the end seeing as it is technically valentine's day go down below and drop me a bunch of red hearts down in the comment box below so i know you made it all the way to the end of course, if you haven't already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button because it would mean the absolute world to me. And if you don't want to miss out on any of my future videos, go and hit that notification bell so you'll get notified each week. But my general routine is uploading every Sunday. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.